Hello, this is Bree Kirsch, one of the reference librarians. In this video, I'm going to discuss ScienceDirect, which is one of our databases that has information related to informatics topics. And I'm going to do a search for ATMs in this database. And if you look here, you can see that Articles in Press is selected. I do not want to search for articles in press because those actually have not been published yet. So I'm going to do my search for journal articles on ATMs and I'll click search. And you can see that I've received over 3,000 results here. That's a lot of results. Now in this case it does have articles that are in this database. You can see the PDF links here. It also contains purchase PDF options, and you don't want to do this. That actually uses your own money to do that. So in this case, if I wanted this article, I could look at article, Artificial Intelligence is the journal title, and I can use Journal Finder to see if we have the full text for this journal in another database or in print. So please keep that in mind when you're looking at these. The ones with PDF links are the ones that have the full text in this database. So now that's a lot of results to look through. So in this case I can look at the topics on the left hand side here. For example, if I click on view more I can see all of the various related topics. So in this case, I think I'll click on information system or maybe ATM. So I'll do ATM first and see what we get. So I'll limit to that and also they do have the option to limit by year as well. Okay, so that shrinks it to 40 results specifically about the topic of ATMs. And let's look at this third one here. Comparison of the power between reversal-bounded ATMs and reversal-bounded NTMs. So here is the first page of this article, and you can see the abstract here to find out if it looks helpful or not, and also the citation information. And if I wanted to, I could download the PDF, and it would then open up in a new page and similarly to other databases, I could click on this little icon to print the article. I could also download it and then save it for myself for the future. And I could send it as an email attachment at that point if I wanted to. So if I scroll through the article a little bit, you can see that it's still downloading some of it since it's fairly lengthy. And you can see that there is a graph here as well as other information that probably wouldn't show up on the HTML version of this article. So it's helpful to know that these PDFs have the images as well. So that's just a very brief overview of how to use ScienceDirect to look for articles. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact me or any of the other reference librarians for assistance. I hope this video has been helpful.